Hi friends, today we're talking about how to activate boss mode. It is probably one of the number one questions I see in the group. Hey, I upgraded a boss mode, how do I activate it? And the thing is, boss mode is already activated if you have upgraded. So log into your account, click on documents and plus, click start from scratch, and this is how you can check to see if boss mode has been activated. Simply write a command such as write a paragraph about puppies and then hold control shift and enter if you're on a Windows computer or command shift enter if you're on a Mac. And if Jarvis highlights and then starts writing, this is boss mode. Uh, but I know you didn't watch a video just to hear 30 seconds about how to click one button or type one command and activate boss mode. So I'm going to show you a little bit of navigation in the short codes. If you're unfamiliar, just keep watching. We still use the heading hashtags. I have thought about this a lot and I think that maybe it could become obsolete down the road, but I'm in the habit, so I'm just using it. And then we have the three asterisks that if you use these, Jarvis forgets everything that is above those asterisks. So if you need to get Jarvis back on track, then that's how you're going to do it. Over here on the left, you can type your title, why puppies are amazing. And then you can write a content brief, write an article about how amazing puppies are. And then your output length can be short, medium, or long. I have watched videos where uh, I think Dave uses medium, I use long. I don't think it really matters. I just like having more to work with because a lot of my articles are 2,000 plus words. Uh, one more thing I want to show you real quick is over here in the bottom right hand corner as of right now uh, there's a hot pink button and it says pro tips you can click here to get boss mode training you can click here to get the boss mode cheat sheet and then here this shows you keyboard shortcuts so if you hit command j that's going to be equal to hitting this compose button and the best thing about boss mode in my opinion is jarvis can keep talking that's the best part he can keep talking and keep talking. You just keep hitting control J. And then whenever he starts spitting out crazy stuff, you know that you need to get him back on track. This was a little crazy, but he seemed to get himself together. So I can add another heading or I can write a sentence, but because we have boss mode, as long as he's staying on track, you can just keep hitting compose just to see what he comes up with. A lot of times I'll be writing a post and I'll have, you know, seven tips for this and that. And Jarvis will keep writing and it will end up being like 11 tips. So let him do his thing and keep writing. To run a Jarvis command we already talked about. Uh, run a Jarvis command and keep the command in place. That's the way that I use it. Uh, rerun the last generation. That's control and then the slash or command if you're on Mac, and then undo, which is universal uh, control Z. If you're still struggling with boss mode, if you're not sure what it's about, just set a timer and take 10 minutes and go through some of the trainings. Check out the cheat sheet. Look at this. It's right here in your document. You don't have to go anywhere. Literally right here. So copy and paste these over and you will be well on your way to learning boss mode. Let's see what he does with this. There are marketing frameworks. There's the miscellaneous section that's gonna have you like explain to a fifth grader, run content improver. I talk about content improver all the time because it's so amazing. That's how you can write PLR. You grab the PLR, put it in a Jarvis and use the content improver. It's awesome. This says write a video description for the above script. Well, the above wasn't really a script, so I wasn't sure what Jarvis would come up with, but he says the best thing about puppies is that they're so darn cute. In this video, I share my top five reasons why puppies are amazing. That's pretty spot on considering how little I gave Jarvis. If Jarvis isn't giving you the output that you expected or the output that you needed, you've got to learn to speak Jarvis ease a little bit. If Jarvis isn't giving you the output you need, you have to learn 
how to talk to him. So I call it Jarvis Ease because I did not speak this language whenever I first started using Jarvis. Uh, but the better input you give him, the better output Jarvis can give you. So if you're not getting what you expected or what you needed, then you're going to have to reword a little bit. And one little tip before I go is if Jarvis isn't using your, if Jarvis isn't writing the way you need him to, say that Jarvis doesn't work for your intro paragraph or your conclusion paragraph or anything that you're trying to command him to do and you don't know how you should reword it, just hop on over to power mode and find that template and use it. So if I wanted a blog post paragraph for an intro, I would say, you know, uh, why puppies are amazing. And then I can also hone in on my audience and tone of voice. So if for some reason you're not getting the output you want, I really recommend going through the Boss Mode 101 training. That's why they created it and it's super helpful. If y'all have any questions, drop them in the comments or send them to me so I can answer them in future videos. And don't forget to join my group trainings and look out for my Jarvis course. Thanks, friends.